During my years as chairman of the Senate Banking Committee, and now as I serve on two bank boards, I've become very familiar with bank regulation and bank regulators. The current bank regulatory environment can be overwhelming, especially for smaller banks. Many bankers feel that regulation is sometimes enforced differently by different agencies. But because the regulators hold all the cards, bankers are hesitant to complain too loudly. In an attempt to establish some transparency and provide balance to the regulatory process, the Alliance of Bankers Associations has developed an innovative new tool that could really improve the regulatory process. The Regulatory Feedback Initiative will generate important information from bankers across the country in a real-time environment. This will identify problems in the regulatory process and help bankers prepare for their exams. It's an exciting new initiative and the timing couldn't be better. When bankers want to talk about their most recent exam or the next one coming up, they often call their state bankers associations. And when they do, we hear some really troubling things from time to time. We don't know if what they're telling us is real or exaggerated. We don't know if it's isolated or really widespread. As an executive of the State Bankers Association, I can talk with regulators about the issues and regulations that bankers raise, but we can't say a lot because we have to protect the identity of the bank or banker who called us. Right now, there isn't much we can do because regulators often regard this as either anecdotal or isolated. Bottom line is, is that we have a great interest in complying with the examiners. Their, their interest in ha helping us to be a safe and sound institution is the same objective that we have. And the sooner we understand what their objectives are, their questions are, and their desires are, the, the quicker we are able to answer those questions and uh, provide that information for them. We recognize the significant challenge our regulators face in addressing the enormous set of rules and regulations mandated by Congress's passage of the Dodd-Frank Act. We likewise share the belief that proper regulation is a key ingredient of a safe banking system and a sound economy. We State Bankers Association execs travel back and forth to Washington a lot and we compare notes. And we've figured out that there are several disconnects in our regulatory system. There are disconnects between the policies set by regulatory leadership in Washington and the actual practices, practices of the examiners in the field that you see. There can be disconnects between different regulatory agencies on the very same law or regulation. And there can be disconnects between the way some regulations are enforced in one region of the country versus another, but all within the same agency. The Alliance of State Bankers Association is introducing a new tool called the Regulatory Feedback Initiative. The goal is to bring much needed transparency to the regulatory process. It will identify disconnects in the implementation of bank regulations. It will expose any unfair treatment by field examiners, and it will provide state association advocates with empirical data to identify and fix widespread problems in the regulatory process. And perhaps most importantly, it will generate custom reports to help our member banks prepare for examinations. We're asking every bank in America to share their examination experience through a brief, secure, and confidential survey. We've engaged Allegiance Inc., an independent third party with years of experience in collecting confidential employee and customer feedback for banks across the country. They've built a confidential survey platform to collect information about every bank exam. This easy to use survey tool is available through each state association website. And after a few brief demographic questions, such as charter type, size, regulator and region, each bank can quickly answer a few questions about their examination and confidentially share their observations for the benefit of the entire banking industry. It's important that banks be as specific as possible because every banker will rely on this data to prepare for their exams. During the initial rollout, we're asking every bank to fill out a survey for their most recent examination, regardless of how long ago it occurred. This will help us populate the database. Going forward, we simply ask every bank to fill out the survey after each subsequent exam or visitation. We'll use the data we collect then in two ways. First, we'll provide custom reports to our member banks that will help them prepare for their next examination. Second, we'll identify problems and inconsistencies as they are occurring in the field so that we can then lobby regulatory leaders and elected officials for needed changes. 
our member banks will be able to request customized reports from their state bankers association that can be narrowed to include feedback about recent exams of similarly situated banks in their region. Our goal is simple, to help you manage your regulatory risk and eliminate expensive regulatory surprises. Let me stress again that these surveys are completely confidential. In fact, the system can't even generate a report unless it results from at least five completed surveys. There's simply no way your survey results can be isolated and linked back to your institution. Working together, the Alliance of Bankers Associations is a powerful force for good. Banks can help themselves and help each other by supporting this important initiative. There has never been a more important time to create transparency in our bank examinations. I believe this tool will be invaluable as we work together to improve the regulatory process by establishing consistency and predictability. I strongly encourage every banker to participate in this important initiative. Don't wait. Get involved today. And thank you for the role that you're going to play in making our industry better.